Indiana. Time for Show Us Our Swing, number three. All right, Dave, take a look at the swing here. A lot of good things. Uh, you're a player that kind of takes a club head up pretty quick, you know, almost like a little Ryan Moore here with that club head out in front of you. And that's fine because you get the left arm to work around. And then watch this. Here's your best move right here, that club head. Watch it. It falls back behind the hands, right? That's good stuff. And when you can get that shaft to lay down like that, you can do a lot with it through impact, and you get a good rehinge back up the other side to this finish so clearly uh, hitting a lot of good shots I think what I would recommend if you watch your footwork here when you turn to the top I would say that most of your weight it appears is going out towards your toes right now if you were kind of standing on you know a pressure mat I would say that most of your pressure is kind of out over the toes okay and what I want to do is get that pressure kind of loaded up a little more kind of into the right heel so with you on your toes, you're going to see kind of quickly everything kind of moves out towards the toes a little bit more yet. Look at that right foot going this way. I would even say the left foot. And, uh, and then you got to stand up a little bit, right? So you got to stand up, maybe use the hands a little more than you want right there. You can see your hands right through here, kind of a lot of flip or a lot of release. You know, not the end of the world. Uh, but if you want to tame that down a little bit, I think what we need to do is is get loaded just a little bit better into the right side right kind of get back into here i think that'll allow you to kind of feel like you can work through the instep more and then that left hip can kind of turn and get out of the way a little bit more uh, rather than standing up and i think that'll put a little less pressure on your hands right here through impact and uh, perhaps that can uh, even make this golf swing just a little bit better yet all right so let's talk about that all right, Mr. Dave, I think I can help you get a little bit more distance and perhaps a little bit more accuracy. You got a good swing, and I think kind of where the pressure is in your feet and a little bit of footwork can help. Now, let's go to the target line. You're a player that gets that club head working up like this, which I like. I'd rather have a player too much out here than get that club head trapped too far to the inside. And what you do really well is once you're here, then you start, you get that club to go there nicely in transition. Now, as far as where the pressure is in your feet, it looks like when you turn, the club head's out here, you're definitely kind of out over the right toe a little bit. I would try to go, you know, here first like you do, and then when you turn, just feel like you're turning a little deeper back in towards the right heel. Feel some pressure. Lift that right foot up a little bit and feel some pressure back in towards that right heel. Now, what I think that's going to do as you turn and get into the heel, now you can start down and maybe start to work a little bit more through the instep like this. Feel like your right foot, let's go back here to face on here. Feel like your right foot, once you're up to the top and you're into the heel and you start down, feel like your right foot is starting to turn into the ground, say like two o'clock, right? So I'm trying to spin my foot this way where my toes are pointing towards two o'clock, right? So I'm into my heel and then I feel my foot gripping the ground. And now I start to feel like I'm working a little bit more through the instep. And then from there, I can turn and roll up to the toe. So I just think all of that kind of gets you off your toes here, gets you off your toes here, where you have to stand up and then save it a little bit from face on. All right, so I like just some rehearsals here, turn deep into the heel, and then start to grip that ground towards two o'clock. And all of that, I think will breed better balance and allow you to rotate a little bit better through impact. And I hit that one pretty good. Nice little baby draw. You got a good swing, Dave. I think those couple things will make it even better. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And remember, leave a comment if you have any questions. And most importantly, subscribe right here to Travis Fulton Golf so I can help you with your game long term.